Welcome to another Love It, Like It, or Leave It. I have a pile of things in front of me here and I have been trying a lot of things and I thought I'd let you know how I'm feeling about them. Some of them are home runs and others I just don't even think I would even consider purchasing again. So here we go. First off, I have a lot of lip products that I've been trying lately. And the one that I have tried recently is number 107 of the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. Really enjoying this color. Um, I like how they basically have a similar color at the bottom. But it's a beautiful shade of, you can just sort of wear anytime. It's a good nude, kind of a peachy nude. So I'm really enjoying this color. This is a great formula. Love it. Another item that I am loving, and I'm wearing it right now, is the Rouge Coco Gloss by Chanel. I saved all these boxes until I was finished with this. <laughs> Normally I don't keep them in the box. Uh, but this is the color, and it is in caramel or caramel if that's how you pronounce it but caramel is the color and it is just such a beautiful beautiful gloss and these have gotten less gloppy I know that some Chanel glasses over the years have been a little goopy but this is not at all I love the applicator it's just I already have plenty on so I didn't really want to add too much but I'm loving it it feels so nice on the lips loving 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 it and I do plan to check out more colors but this color is just sort of a perfect you know looks like lips and but better, so loving it. Chanel Coco Rouge Shine, love it. Now here are, is a drugstore option for lip, like kind of lip stains. Um, I have tried every type, every brand it seems of lip products that I, I want them to stay. They just like stay forever on the lips. I don't have to reapply, especially if I'm going out to some sort of an event with my husband or something for work type of thing that I really don't want to constantly be running to the bathroom or worrying about it, it you know, running off, rubbing off. So anyway, I have tried everything and I'm telling you, these by Maybelline, they're the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. They're not kidding. These things stay forever. I mean, they're basically a commitment, um, which is a really good thing if you like the color. So these are the three colors that I got personally. I don't know if they have names to them. I think that they do. If so, I will link them down below because there's no way I'll be able to read that label. So I got these three colors and I, like I said, I will link them below. This is 05, I believe it has a name, but 05 is a good nude. It's dropped on the floor. So just a good nude. Really like that one a lot. This color shade is shade 15. Where am I? Really pretty color. Mauvey pink, very pretty. And then this one is number 50, 50. And I'm telling you, this is one that would be a good vampy color that you're not having to reapply constantly. It's like a deep, dark burgundy type tone. And I'm going to get those off of my skin right now with the wipes because I'm telling you, those will be on for a week to 10 days. Otherwise, if I don't, they stain like nobody's business. Like I said, these things are a commitment. So when you're trying them, <laughs> make sure you like it before you leave it on very long because they do stay. So I'd have to say I love those, although I do wish they had more of a neutral color range. They have a lot of bright. So if you love really bright lips in the fuchsias and so forth, these are good for you. I did purchase um, the red tone. I think it was called Pioneer. Um, that's on its way because I think that'd be nice to have a, a nice red that stays. So there's that, love it. Okay, Bite Beauty now has the Mousse Bouche uh, Liquified Lip, which I love all the Bite Beauty lip products that I've tried over the years. And I have quite a few different uh, full ranges of those in videos. These though are the Liquid Lips. And I really, really enjoy this color. This one is Chutney. And that's basically what that looks like. Beautiful color. These last well, they have that kind of a minty va vanilla citrus. It's a strange, strangest thing to try to explain, but that's kind of a minty, minty citrus, I guess is the best thing I can imagine calling it. So loving that one, I say I love it. Now, I have tried the Jouer Skinny Dip lip toppers before and I tried the one that's actually called skinny dip and just did which is right here did not care for it at all um, it's just golden sparkle is what it is 
And no matter what you put it over, at least for me, whatever you put it over, it's very sparkly and shiny, and if that's what you want, perfect. But when your lip color wears off, or even if you're like taking off your lips with you know, a microfiber cloth, you're taking it off like crazy, the sparkles stay. I mean, they're like, they get in there, they get through the lipstick onto the lip, and you'll have sparkly lips for quite a while, um, no matter what you do. And personally, I don't really want to have like glitter on my lips, um, but this is a perfect thing for you if you do want that kind of thing. And for some stupid reason, I guess I thought that because the skinny dip was all kind of a golden sparkle, why don't I try one in one of the more colorful shades? Well, that was stupid of me because what was I thinking? So I did try the Saint Tropez. This is the next one I tried. I don't like it either. It has <laughs> the same issue. It's a beautiful sparkly tone. However, very glittery. I mean, it's just straight up glitter on the lips. And again, when your lip color wears off, this wears off to a point, but you're left with literally glittery lips. So for me, that's a leave it. I won't try anymore because <laughs> that's enough failure in the lip department for one day. I wanted to share that with you. And then another one that I tried that I'm not terribly pleased with is the Dior Addict Lip Tattoo. Now this is a great idea and I love Dior products. For the most part, I really do. I thought I'd get it in this color because it's a color I could wear with just about anything and it would go into fall and so forth. Loving that idea. However, when it applies, it smells good too. It reminds me of the bite. When it applies, it doesn't apply, um, it, it, it's kind of watery or something. See, it's just sort of, you get this darker line around the edges. So you're putting it on your lips and you get this dark line under here and then it's kind of sheared out in the middle and it just doesn't apply very well at all. It just really does not. I can't get it to anyway. So I'm gonna have to say that's a leave it. It's a beautiful color and it does stain well, as you can see, I'm trying to get that off and it doesn't wanna come off. So if you can get that to work for you, they stay for a long, long time, but they're just not even in all, at all. It's kind of, you really have to work with it to get rid of the dark line and the, you know, the lighter sheer part and it just, it's not a good application. So I'm going to say leave it for the Dior Addict Lip Tattoo. And then I do have two more Jouer um, lip glosses. And these are the two colors that I am really, really loving. First we have the, it's called PCH. It's just a nice little um, peachy nude. Goes with about anything. It's one of those that you can stick in your purse and it looks good on top of other, other colors also. And then this one I really like, it's Champs-Élysées. This is a really good color and I know I'll especially like this going into fall. So, loving those two. Okay, I love trying a good foundation and I'm not one that really likes the, the goopy ones that you have to put on the back of your hand and then kind of go from there. I kind of like something that I can just put directly on my face if I have that option. Um, so I thought I would try the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude in the Cushion Stick. Because that just seems like the right kind of thing for me, where I would just like to just plop it on my face and then blop it around. Plop and blop. <laughs> okay, it's an odd, I always want to take off the, the wrong end. I always feel like this is the end that you're supposed to take off, but you're not. This is the top part. And then it's got this hole in the middle, and you just turn this for the product to come out, and then you can blop it all over your face. I don't know if they're expecting you to use this tip as a spreader, but that just doesn't seem to work well at all for me. So I kind of blop it around and then spread it with a, a damp beauty blender. And that seems to work the best for me. Now, as with all Estee Lauder foundations, I have a trouble, even though they're supposed to wear really well, I have trouble keeping them looking fresh for the whole day. Toward the end of the day, they break up on me for some reason. And this tends to do it more than the others. So I'm not sure what that is. It, it does save a step for me in that I don't have to you know, pump something out to the back of my hand and then go from there to my face, whereas I can put this directly on my face. But you can't really clean that tip either. I don't know. So I'm, I'm on the fence about this, but because it breaks up on me by the end of the day, it's a no-no for me. So I really am not enjoying that one. Not to say that you wouldn't, but I'm just giving you my experience. And I'm going to have to say leave it on the Estee Lauder. Um, Clinique. Another thing I've tried because I love cushion foundations, I really do. I have decided to try the Clinique Super City Block BB Cushion Compact with the 50 SPF. And I specifically wanted to try this one because it has the SPF 50. 
And one of my very, very favorite foundations is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, that has 50 also, which I really enjoy. I try to keep sun off my face. So that's the perfect idea for this one. I mean, this is like a mirror, this, this top, it's beautiful. Um, good color range. I have not used the actual puff that comes with it, but it does work well. It looks a little dark, but it's not. It's actually a really good shade for me. It just really works well. And I don't have any complaint about this at all. It covers well, it wears well. Very, very happy with it. Um, my only complaint, if I have any that I can think about, would possibly be that sometimes it feels a little heavy on the skin. Usually when I put on makeup, I don't want it to feel like I've got something on my skin. I don't want to feel like that makeup-y mask, if you know what I mean. And this one does tend to make me feel like I have more of a caked on face. A little, a little more than others. So that would be my only possible downside to it. But I would have to say that I really like it a lot. And because it has the 50 SPF, it's worth it to me. So it's between a love it and a like it. So I like it a lot. And then while I was at it and I ordered that one, I also ordered the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. And I love that they're calling it foundation basically plus concealer because in all honesty, isn't that what kind of concealer is? It's like a, a little bit of a thicker, different consistency of your foundation. Um, and I use them interchangeably all the time too. Like I'll erase my entire face with a concealer, so to speak, that's just kind of sheared out. Um, and then that kind of acts sort of as a foundation. So I thought this was a great idea. And I am loving this. This is wonderful. And if you've seen my Get Ready, so get ready With Me's, yeah, um, where I just basically take usually uh, the Maybelline Age Rewind, and I kind of put it all over different places, and then I kind of shear that out with a, with a damp beauty blender. I do the exact same thing with this, and it works just as well, if not better. I love the, the giant little doe foot type applicator. You can just sort of draw it on where you really kind of want your to be covered the most. Like I say, I just use a damp beauty blender. I shear that all out, and then many times I can just put powder, a little bit of powder over it, and I'm good to go. I don't even need a foundation. So I'm really liking this. I got this in the color 2.3. I don't know what it's, I don't know if there's a name to it. It's 2.3. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to say I love this. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, a couple more items. Um, I got a little sample of the Estee Lauder. It's new. It's the Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate, Ma Eye Concentrate Matrix. And it looks like this, the little sample that I got, which is a good size sample actually. And I really love it. And I'm not, I, I ended up buying it in the full size because I love it so much. I'm always looking for something to really work on this type of part of my eye. That's where I get the crinkles. I've had contacts since I was about 14. So I'm, you know, I've been pulling and tugging on my eyes forever and ever and ever. And that's my place where I get the, the crinklies. So I'm always looking for a good eye cream. And this one, I have to say, I am loving. I love the application. It's just, it feels good. It's got this little ball thing on the end. <laughs> and just bop, 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 bop. And you know, I just kind of tap that in real lightly with my ring finger and I'm good to go. And it says night. I've used it during the day too, but it, it says it's a night cream matrix. Loving it. And like I said, I bought the, the larger size. So can definitely, I feel like I can definitely already see a difference and I've only been using it for a couple weeks. So happy with that, very happy. And then my last item, I thought I would try the, it's the Waterproof, that's in French, Long Lasting Eyeliner. And I got the color 847 Terra Rosa from Chanel. Really enjoying this. It is more of that dark plum type color. It works really beautifully as an eyeliner, because, and I'm wearing it right now, as a matter of fact. It just kind of adds a little purpley dark tone there, and that brings out the green in the eyes because of the purple. Just the way colors work. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So a little, I like the mechanical tip part of it because I just do not like to have to um, sharpen my eye pencils. And again, it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. Goes on nice and rich. Smears out a little bit if you'd like it to. And then it does stay very, very well. And it works well in the waterline too. I don't do that very often. I tend to feel like it makes my eyes look smaller. Um, but if I do that, it really does work and it stays because it is waterproof. So love it. I'd have to say, I definitely love that one. So those are my love it, like it's or leave it's. I have mostly love it's and a couple leave it's and some like it a lot. Like it a lot. So how about that? 
So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I'm always up for trying new products. If you have any recommendations for me, let me know. And I will see you guys again real, real soon. Thanks. Bye.